demonstrating concealment features of new snow capes issued on the 9th Army front. Members of the 8th Infantry Division patrolled the Hurtgen Forest in tests of the camouflage dress. An outdoor shop is maintained by this staff sergeant for emergency tailoring of snowsuits. 52 years old and a veteran of three wars, the sergeant employs a GI knife and a captured German sewing machine in fashioning the garments. For many of our troops, this most bitter winter on the Western Front marks their introduction to warfare in the snow. Initial skirmishes amid deep drifts have driven home the importance of proper camouflage, a need reflected in the sergeant's unique assignment. He opened his makeshift shop when an infantry division planning an attack on strong pillbox defenses east of Lammersdorf called for an immediate supply of 35 camouflage suits. The material used is from old mattress covers. A 20 millimeter Italian dual purpose gun is ready to be moved into firing position at Gürtenis, Germany, in the Duren sector. The Nazis secured this weapon from the Italians, and we, in turn, captured it. Employing the captured 20 millimeter gun on 2nd January, enemy targets a half mile away are brought under indirect fire. Belgium, the engineers improvised bazooka shells as roadblocks, employing the shell cases for firing tubes. After the ends are cut open, the cardboard containers are fastened on a fence facing the objective. The shell is returned to its case, which has now become the bazooka weapon employed by Company B, 238th Engineer Battalion. After wiring, the projectile is set off by a pair of flashlight batteries. For the first time, a weasel is used as a wire truck. At Sourbrook, Belgium, 5th January, a signal company of the 99th Infantry Division lays a communication line in the 1st Army sector. They report that the weasel's performance over the difficult snow-covered terrain makes it most advantageous for cross-country wire construction. Officially designated as the M29C light cargo carrier, this vehicle has proved itself equally at home, not only in deep snow, but also in swamps, marshes, mud, sand dunes, and waterways. <laughs> 